Hi everyone, welcome to Joie. Um, today I am doing a second video to makeup tutorial. Um, and this one is actually inspired by how beautiful the weather has finally gotten. I don't know if you're from Boston, but it has been raining um, pretty consistently for the past few days, and this afternoon the sun finally came out. So in honor of the sun and impending summer, I have decided to do a video tutorial on um, summer color. To start, and you'll see me using this actually a lot, um, I like to start off with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, um, which I guess I kind of almost use as like a primer, even though I suppose when I go out I put primer on anyway. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to take my Chanel Perfection Lumiere, uh, and this is actually in 20 Beige is the color that I wear. It's a lot lighter than the um, MAC Match Master, which is what I was using in my previous video tutorial. Um, I think that that one is for more of a darker evening look, and this is really supposed to be light and pretty and romantic. So I'm going to keep it a little bit more um, light on the face and um, really focus on the colors and the eyes. You can already tell it's much lighter than the color I was using yesterday. And it actually has SPF 20 in it too, which is really nice. Today I'm going to be using Anastasia Brow Wiz on my eyebrows, and I'm going to be using this in caramel, which is about um, a shade or two lighter than my actual hair color, which actually works out really well because for this look we want it to be very natural. Um, we don't want it to be too heavy or have our brows really defined. So once we've done the um, eyebrows and you have the eye pencil on, you can just turn it right around and use this to run through the brow and uh, make sure that all the hair is up in the right direction. And to finish, just going to use the Anastasia Brow Gel, and this is clear, just to set the brows. I am going to be priming my eyes today with Benefit Stay Don't Stray in this teeny little kit. Actually, I got this at like the checkout line at Sephora. Um, I've had it for over a year and it stays amazingly. So all you need is just two dots on the brow bone and the lid. You can just use your finger to tap the primer into the lid. Once you've finished uh, priming the lid, you're going to go ahead and use this far peach color right here all over the lid. I'm using a 217 to apply that. So just dab it in and apply all over the lid. You can take that pretty far inside the corners of the eye, really draw attention to the color. Right, so now that that is all over the lid, we are going to take our all of our smaller brush by Sephora, and I'm going to use this middle color right here as a crease color. So got a bit of shimmer in it. It's going to be really pretty. Tap off the excess. And now to start when you're using um, applying eye makeup in the crease, I just start by making a really small C in the corner of my eye. And then I actually try and bring it out a little bit larger into almost like a V shape as you go up into the crease. So maybe that didn't make any sense, but watch me when I'm doing it. It might make more sense. And then I'm going to take it in a little bit further along the lash line. Start to pull it out. Okay. 
And switching over to our flatter all over shadow brush, we're going to apply that same color under the lid. So just take it down under the lid. And it'll connect in the corner. Once you have that liner on, now we are going to use this light pink color and take that right into the corner of the eye and then up to highlight. So start just applying the corner of the eye towards the brow. And continue to bring it through the brow bone as you highlight. We are going to use our 219 MAC blending brush just to blend all these colors together. All right, now for liner, and this is where the fun part comes in. I am going to be using um, an angled liner brush and this blue right here. We've applied these three so far. This is all over the lid. This one here is the highlighter and in the middle. And this, don't know if you can tell, but it's like a purpley gold shimmery color. It's really pretty, um, is what we've got in the crease. And now we're going to use the blue to really make all three of those colors pop uh, as a liner. Do a slight flick at the end. I'm going to take that below the eye as well, right along the lash line. So when you do the flick, you're just going to take it out like this, and then bring it back in to sort of the middle of the eye, kind of making a triangle. And then you just sort of fill in the triangle. There's your liner when it's finished. And now that you've applied that, we're just going to blend everything out a bit because we don't want this look to be too harsh. So again, I'm just going to take this 217 blend, MAC blending brush, blend out. Now that you're done with that, you can go ahead and apply mascara. I just bought the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes, and it actually comes, um, it's like a three-step kit um, that comes with two different mascaras, so we'll see how this works. Step one, just supposed to apply like we would regular mascara. Step two, this is Nylon Lash Extension System. I think it's white. Yes, it looks that way. Very interesting. It's literally brushing hairs onto my eyelashes. And then we go over it and finish again with the Activating Mascara Face and Top Coat. Kind of like nail polish, I suppose. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Longer eyelashes? I'd say maybe a little. All right. To finish, I am just going to run a tiny bit of my NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner, and this is in a nude color. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. And just run that in the waterline to really open up your eyes. Coming back to the face, I am going to opt for my 
Bobbi Brown All Over Face Powder in Golden Light. And because we're doing something spring, a spring look today, I am going to use my blusher is the Laura Mercier um, Fresh Peach. So that is the lower bottom one there. I apologize, this is broken, but this guy right here. Finally, a bit of contouring if you think that you need it. And we're just going to use that blush brush to blend. I'm going to do a pink lip today. Um, so we are using Bites Lipstick in Fig. And because we're trying to keep it natural and fresh for spring, I'm not going to put a gloss on that. All right, guys, so here's the finished look. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.